So recently I've been playing a lot of Hollow Knight, and I noticed something strange. There seems to be some interesting similarities and connections between Hollow Knight and the Owl House. Now bear with me here, Hollow Knight and Owl House are vastly different, but I think some of the creative minds behind the Owl House might have been inspired by Hollow Knight. I'm not saying they're in the same universe or anything like that. And I'm not saying Owl House copied Hollow Knight either. I'm just saying there's some interesting connections between the two worth exploring. So Hollow Knight might be the inspiration for the collector in the Owl House. Now what prompted this idea? While playing Hollow Knight, I came across an enemy. An enemy with a very familiar name. That's right, this enemy is called the Collector. But so what you say? There's plenty of characters called the Collector. Even Marvel has one. Well, here's the Collector's design. In Hollow Knight, at first glance, it looks like he has zero connection to the Collector in the Owl House, but it depends on what design from the Owl House you look at. When we first meet the Collector in the Owl House, he's locked away and can only project himself in this shadowy form. The Collector in Hollow Knight is also a shadow-like creature. He's made out of Void, which in the Hollow Knight universe is a shadowy substance connected to the soul. It's very complicated and I don't fully understand it. In some instances, it acts like a living shadow. So they are both shadowy-like creatures. But also, like the Collector in Owl House, the Collector in Hollow Knight was also locked away and trapped. In Hollow Knight, the Collector was trapped in the Tower of Love, and in the Owl House, the Collector was trapped in the Realm Between Dimensions. So there's a few similarities. They're both called the Collector, they were both trapped and locked away, and they both look like living shadows. Now that alone wouldn't convince me that the Owl House took inspiration from Hollow Knight, but then I remembered, Owl House has had multiple Hollow Knight easter eggs appear in the show. The first one appears in the Season 1 intro, we can see King surrounded by plushies, and on the right we can see a plushie of the night. But that's not all, in the episode thanks to them, we get a quick look at Lucy's desktop, and she has a couple of interesting games on there. She has Moon Farm Valley, which is obviously a parody of Stardew Valley, she also just straight up has Hades on her computer, and BOOM, you guessed it! Hollow Knight. Well, actually it says Hollow Knight, but yeah, a very clear reference to Hollow Knight. This at the least confirms that some of the creative team on the Owl House is fans of Hollow Knight, potentially leading to some inspiration being made from Hollow Knight. But I hear you, bear with me, there still isn't enough evidence to make such a big assumption. Well, what if I was to tell you the Collector's design wasn't the only thing inspired by Hollow Knight? Emperor Bellos shares a few similarities with Hollow Knight, his design reminds me a lot of the Pale King in Hollow Knight. They both have the mask with horns and the cloak. Side note, I think that's actually the Pale King's face. He's not actually wearing a mask, but point still stands. But it's not just Bellos' design that makes him similar to the Pale King. It's one of his actions. For years, Bellos has been making Grimwalkers, basically making artificial humans, but he finds them all unworthy, so he kills and discards them into pits, leaving them in piles. Well, this feels very similar to the Abyss in Hollow Knight, the deepest, darkest part of the Hollow Nest, where all the failed vessels remain, left there by the Pale King in mass piles. I mean, just look at these two images, both are piles of remains that were left and abandoned by the Pale King or Bellos, and they both have spirit-like creatures above them. I'm not saying that they're the same thing, but I could definitely see inspiration being taken from Hollow Knight. But I have one more connection between Bellos and the Hollow Knight. And man, it's a good one. In an episode in the Owl House, we see inside Bellos' mind, and in his mind is a child version of himself, and it has a very interesting design. BOOM! Coincidence? I think not. Well, actually, it definitely could be a coincidence, but just look at the similarities between Kid Bellos and the Knight. They are so freaking similar. Bellos' mask looks so close to the Knight's head, and to make this connection even crazier, the episode this appears in is called Hollow Mind. Hollow! That is so sus! You telling me this design appears in an episode called Hollow Mind? Bro, it's got to be a Hollow Knight reference. But other than this, the only other connections I could think of is that some of Hollow Nest is made out of dead bugs, which reminded me a lot of how the Boiling Isles is made on the Titan's corpse. But what do you guys think? Is there enough substance to these claims? Or is it just a big coincidence? I know this wasn't really a theory, but more of a hypothesis. But I really think I'm onto something here. The connections may be weak, but I think there's enough of them to make it worth investigating. If anyone else finds more evidence supporting this, please let me know. I would love to see if there's more to this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this small little video. Thanks for bearing with me.